angry guy here and desperate post-wall black women are faking femininity to try and find a man. You have these women in their masculine energy and now they're desperate because they were career driven and you know they've lost all this time and now they're trying to make up for it, trying to pretend to be something that they're not. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Let me get to this next topic, right? Um, I do want, well, how much time we got left? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I appreciate the guy. He's a hardworking guy, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So um, what do you think is more fulfilling for career-driven um, professional women? Do you think a career is more fulfilling or do you think a family is more f uh, fulfilling for those type of women? I think you got to, I think that's a loaded question. Because mm -hmm. I think if you ask a woman in her 20s or 30s when she on the grind, right. mm -hmm. her answer is going to be different than right. if you ask her when she hit 40. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be two mm -hmm. different answers. Mm -hmm. Women hit 40 and it's like, you know, I already did that. I'm ready right. for my family. Mm. Or you know what I'm saying? So I think that that's my opinion. When when women come to me, they usually be like, "It's time. I gotta have a baby." You know, they be ready. Right. Mm. So they're gonna tell you family is more important. Right. But when they were on the grind in school and getting trying to get there, their obviously their career will be more important. Mm. But also, I think you have to understand that women go to school. We don't go to white black women don't go to school thinking I'm gonna get married and I don't have to worry about anything. They go to school like I gotta go get this degree because I gotta take care of myself. Mm -hmm. So we go to school That's like you better go get this degree so you can take care of yourself. Gotcha. White women have the luxury of go to school, find you a mister, get your yeah. MRS, you know, have get yeah. happily ever after. We don't go to we go to school so you in there on. Your focus is, I got to get this piece of paper so I can make this kind of money so I can pay my bills. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that they're going to they're gonna have a different answer in their 20s and 30s than they will when they hit 40. Mm -hmm. I, I wish that narrative changed, though. I, I, I don't, you know, I, of course I want you ladies to be independent and strong-minded to pay your, your, your stuff. But I, I want you guys also to feel like you got somebody to depend on oh, in your right. future. Like, I want that narrative to change. I, I love yeah, interdependence. I we don't talk yeah. about interdependence. Independence. Right. I mean, yeah. black men and black women, we're so focused on being independent that we yeah. don't need nobody. We always no. want to tell each other that we don't mm -hmm. need you. Yeah. I, I want to get back to the community, the nuclear yeah. families. Yeah. I, I want to get back to that. So um, Yeah, because I, I would say for me, I, I answered the question, but I'll say also for me, I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to be married. I'm ready to lock it down. You could have mm -hmm. asked me that before. I was like, nope, I don't want to get married, but mm -hmm. I'm ready now. Like, yeah. So I think you get to a point where it's like, yeah. it's time, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think your your answer, which is about the journey, is important. I think when you're younger and if you are going, let's say the college track, you're focused on your studies yeah. and that's normal. Or if you're trying to build a business, yeah. that's your focus. Let's say you decide not to go to college. So that's what you're focused on. And then maybe once you feel a little bit more secure, mm -hmm. then you start to think about yep. family, but it doesn't have to be uh, you know, binary that you have to make a decision. You could still have both. You could, right. have both. You, could, you could still have family as a priority, but you're also maintaining your career. But it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, binary that you have to make a decision. You could still have both. You could, right. have both. You could, you could still have family as a priority, but you're also maintaining your career. Mm, but yeah. it just depends where you are in your journey in yeah. terms of, okay, I got to burn the midnight oil. That's what I had to do going from college to medical school. That was my focus. I couldn't think of anything yeah. else. And then yeah. I had residency. Yeah. That that was it. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then the world started to open up. I think we can be very hyper focused, which we yeah. have, we've had to be. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. so kudos to, to all the sisters, because I'm I'm not down in that at all. I think we've yeah. had to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. We carry it. We you know, we carry a lot on our backs as black women. And that's one of them. Education. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think education, <clears throat> when I thought about it, it was just something I, I was supposed to do. I didn't really think about it like, oh, I have to make the money. I agree with you, though. I think that that's a lot of um, people do think it, but I just felt like, okay, this is a natural process, a natural order of what's next. You graduate high school, you go to college, go to graduate school. So for me, it was just what you should do. I didn't even really think about not doing it. Because you wanted to be a nurse. Yeah. So it wasn't, like it was, um, right. It's like, but this, it's the yeah. same thing. This is what the journey I got to yeah. take. Yeah. This but, is the path. But, right. but, the job I want. <laughs> but I did, when I was yeah. in school, mm -hmm. I think, you still date and you still, right. you know, and it's important. Like I hear a lot about this feminine energy and I'll kind of talked about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like I think most women, <clears throat> you know, being a successful woman myself, I just feel like um, we want to bask in our feminine yes, energy. Yes. Let me just be very clear. Like I know that I have good organizational skills. I have good ideas. Basically you have these masculine women who are now in their now 40 years old, these masculine black women who are now saying that they're ready to be married. 
all right? On the left, you have a doctor. On the right, you have a nurse, all right? These women are 40 years old and older, and they are all desperate to get married. And while they are saying that they had to go out and get their education, because, you know, white women have the luxury of being able to go and get themselves the guys that they want, while black women have to go out and create their value for themselves. But then at 40 years old, you know, now they want a relationship. Now they want a baby. Now they're ready at 40. And they are completely oblivious to the fact that they are 40 years old. Their fertility window has now closed. The probability of them having a child is substantially lower. And we are talking about women in the medical field. This is a doctor on the left and a nurse on the right. And both of these grown, educated women, this black woman has completed her residency. She is not a resident. She is an attending. And she cannot comprehend that after the age of 35, the likelihood of a woman having a child substantially decreases. But at 40 years old, she thinks that she's going to go out and find the man that she wants because now she's ready. If you had asked her before, if you had asked all of these powerful, empowered Black women before, they would have said that they are not ready. They, In fact, they're not only are they not ready, they are not interested. They would have made it extremely clear that they are not interested in a relationship with a man. They don't want that. They are on their journey. They are on their mission. But now, at 40 years old, after they've had their adventure, they've been out in the streets because she said that even when she was in nurse, going to nursing school, she was still dating. But these are single women, 40 years old, all out in the streets, now claiming that men need to understand that it's not that they want to be masculine. What a woman really desires is her femininity. Bro, it doesn't work like that. You cannot be masculine for 40 years and then suddenly tur turn around and say that you want to be feminine now. You have been exuding masculine energy that entire time. You are still saying that everything you did was absolutely right and you don't regret any of it at all, but you want a man right now and you want a baby right now. What kind of absolute madness is this? What kind of delusional thinking is this? What kind of detachment from reality is this? Do you see the reason why I've made videos that said, and I've made polls that literally say, a woman is happier when you are lying to her? Men don't lie to women because they want to lie to women. Men lie to women because they're telling women what they want to hear. And if you don't tell her what she wants to hear, what she wants to hear, then she does not want to hear anything from you. She doesn't care if it's a lie. She only cares about how it makes her feel. That's it. A woman will resent you for the truth and appreciate you for your lies. Even as she condemns you for lying, she will keep coming back to the man who lied to her. Because that is the guy that has actually validated her. If you want to destroy a man, you tell a lie. If you want to destroy a woman, you tell the truth. Because women cannot handle the truth. And that's why men have to lie to them. Not because they want to but because the women want you to. That's as simple as it is. You have all of these desperate post-war black women faking femininity to try and find a man in their 40s now. And they are not regretful over the decisions that they made. And now these are all highly educated women, all career-focused women, and they all want millionaires. 
You think this doctor over here is going to marry a man who makes $100,000 a year? No. She is an attending physician. So if she's an attending physician, her salary is probably somewhere between two hundred and five hundred thousand dollars a year, depending on her specialty. Even though something like a, right around ten to fourteen percent of the population actually makes, you know, a hundred thousand dollars a year or more, she does not care. She needs a man now that makes a million dollars a year or within that range. And what's her money is her money, and what's his money is also her money. Because he will have to provide for her, he will have to protect her, he will have to he will have to subsidize her, everything that she wants, everything that she needs. She will bring nothing into the relationship except for herself. And even if she says that she wants children, she may she very well may physically not be able to have them. And if a guy says to her, listen, you know what? It's not that I don't like you, but I want children. And the chances of you giving me that, it's not really, isn't, it's, it doesn't make sense, right? And she wants a high value man, but she doesn't, they don't understand that what does a high value man have? They have options. Why is a high value man going to go and find a woman who is 40 years old, struggling with fertility issues, has heart, had her heart broken many times, deeply into her masculine energy, when he can go and find a woman who is 20 years old. She's still fit. She's still feminine. She's still friendly. She still has an optimistic view on the world. She has a low body count and her fertility is intact. Why would a 20, why would a high value man choose a 40 year old woman over a 20 year old woman? And the irony is that the, the 20 year old woman will have lower expectations than the 40 year old woman who's going to turn around and say that she has her own money. So he better bring even more than that. And on top of that, she does not need his money because she is independent and she could leave whenever she feels like it. So she's the prize. She's allowing him to sit at her table. Her value is her education. Her value is the fact that she is high income. Although her education doesn't do anything for him, her money is her money, and his money is also her money. Because he will have to provide everything in the relationship. He will have to protect. And she spent all of that time focused on her career and in school so that she never focused on building her personality and building skills and qualities that a man actually wants from a woman. She cannot cook. She cannot clean. She is not on this man's mission. She is not working towards his purpose. She is working towards her own purpose. And she believes that she has the value because she is because she's a woman, and by the very virtue of her being a woman, she has inherent value. She is the table. She is the table, and even though she cannot provide children, even though she cannot provide anything else that a man actually desires, it doesn't matter because by just her being in his life, she sh he should be he should be grateful. This is the, the delusional reality that we now live in. And none of them can comprehend this. And on top of everything, now they all want soft girl lives. Now they're all talking about femininity. They are completely unapologetic for the decisions that they made, but now they're all ready to get pregnant and have a baby and a husband.
even though that is no longer likely possible for them. Now, why would a guy want to bring a, a child into the world with a woman who is older and will have fewer years to dedicate to the raising of that child, even if she's capable of that, of having one, versus a younger woman who will have substantially more time to raise that child, be a part of that child, nurture that child, even if he's no longer around later on? I don't know, guys. It's 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 just absolutely ridiculous. It's 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 so sad. It's so sad, but this is the reality, and they are completely unap unapologetic and completely oblivious to basic biology, to their own biology, because it goes against their reality. My goodness. And now they're trying to fake femininity to find a man. And of course, you have the simps in the background talking about, oh, I want to, you know, I, you know, I appreciate you guys and I support you. I support you guys going out and getting your careers. But, you know, I want the nuclear family back and all this other nonsense. You see how these simps roll? And they're like, oh, and guess what? They, that they immediately lost any possible attraction they would have to these dudes. They would just use them and throw them away. But the very fact that they just did that, they have no attraction to those dudes. None whatsoever. This is the reality. And let me tell you all something. These women, it will be the hardest thing in, in the world for a man to become intimate with them at this point because that's the only card that they have. So if they find a guy that they're actually interested in, he won't get anything bro, until, until there's practically a ring on the finger. They're going to act like they still have their V card in check and they don't want to give it up until the wedding night. <laughs> and even then, he would have something coming for him. And all the time when this fool is waiting, they would already have some dude on the side because that's how female dating strategies work. You know, I love how Mayumi puts it. She calls them spoiled milk women, the spoiled, spoiled milk ladies. And Mayumi is a doctor. She's 33. She's a Japanese physician, and she literally said that she couldn't find the man that she wanted in Japan, but she found it with a passport, bro. She found it with a passport, bro. A black passport, bro. And she thanks God every day for him. Come on. These women will no longer have access to these men that they did not want. That's why they're crying over it. They no longer have access to these men, and they're furious about it. And now they're out here trying to fake femininity. Claiming they, they know nothing. They've been so deep in their masculine energy all these years, and now they're trying to act like they're feminine. Get out of here. Guys, please subscribe to the channel so that, you know, you can always get updates when I put out new videos and turn on notifications as well as so, because it's important. Let me know what you think regarding this, guys, about these women faking femininity to find the man as they're now desperate and post wall. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away and cheers.